Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to update data for matched records and for unmatched records send ID through email using SSIS. So this is my profile, I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is update data for matched records and for unmatched records send ID through email. So I got a question from one of my subscriber Deepak and he requested the similar thing so I thought to make a video on this one so let's jump to the demo. In my work database I got an email table and if I open the data from the email table so it got around 1000 records in it. The ID starts from 1 and it goes up to 1000 and the salary for all records is 0. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to update the salary to 1000 for all matching records from the CSV file. So I got a CSV file data to update and if I open this particular file in text pad so you can see that I have the ID column with me and the ID starts from 1 and it goes up to 600 so for the first 600 records we got the ID so for all the matching ID records we will be setting the salary to 1000 and for the remaining records we won't update anything and we won't send the ID for those unmatched records through email so let's see how we can achieve this particular thing. So let me open my SSIS package. So this is my blank SSIS package that I will be using today. So first of all, we will be just creating a staging table to keep the IDs from the CSV file. And I, I can call this execute SQL task create a staging table. And then I can configure this particular task. So I can make a connection to the work database, new connection. I can select this connection, click OK. And now for the SQL statement, what we will do, we will write a creatable statement. So first of all, let me just copy this particular query. So this will actually drop the staging table if the table is already there. So the schema will be DBO and my table name will be email underscore staging. So what we will do, if table will exist, then we will drop the table. So I can write drop table this one. And after this we will recreate the table so I can write create table email underscore staging ID integer okay so this is the code that I'm gonna put in the execute SQL task so if I execute this one so this will create a staging table email underscore staging table and of course this table should be empty as of now so if I select the data so this table is empty so that's fine I can just copy this particular code from here and I can paste it here click OK OK so this task is done now I can just drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window and in the data flow task I will actually import the data so maybe I can call it as import data from CSV file all right and I can just configure this data flow task because we are reading the data from the CSV file so we will be using the flat file source to read the data so I can just configure the flat file source here I can make a connection and maybe I can call the connection as flat file and then I can browse the file so file type is CSV so I can just select this file click open I can click on preview to make sure the data looks good so data seems good here all the IDs are seems good click ok ok now I can use the OLEDB destination to insert the data into the email staging table so I can just configure this OLEDB task and then th there is the table email underscore staging so I can click on the mappings to make sure that ID is mapped automatically so this seems good I can click OK so this this is done now this can create a blank table this can import the data into the staging table now I can use the execute SQL task to update the data for the matched records so maybe I can call this one as update data and then I can just configure this particular task as well this is my connection to the work database and in the SQL statement I can write the update statement okay so maybe I can write the update statement like this like update a from email table a inner join email underscore staging b on a dot id equal to b dot id so for the matched records what we are gonna do we are gonna update the salary of a set a dot salary equal to 1000 okay so we are going to execute this particular query so if i execute this query so this query seems good here i can just copy this query and paste it in the ssis package click 
okay okay this can update the mesh data now for the unmatched records we want to send the email so we will be using the script task to send the email for the unmatched records we will be sending the ids in the email so i can just connect the update data with the script task and then i can rename the script task maybe i can call it like send unmatched data and then i can just right click and configure it click on edit script so this is the script editor where we can write our c-sharp code so i already have some code written here that i used in my previous video how to send html email so maybe i can copy this particular code from here and then i can paste in the in this particular ssis package and i will share this code with you so to send the email so you can use it in your ssis package if you want so it is saying that there is some error so click on show potential fixes it is asking to add the reference to the system.net.mail so we can add this one and then we get another notification so we can add this one as well system.net so these are gone now for the sql server connection we can add some more references system.data.sql client so all the errors are gone now so this is good now we can just configure this particular task so what we are gonna do we are going to send the email from s kumar this one email id to the similar email id i don't want to send the email to another email id because i don't want to open another email you know for now so the password for this particular email id got changed so i can write my password here and then we can leave all these things as it is and there is one more thing that before writing this code you can just make sure that less sql app is enabled so i can just open this one and i if i paste it here so this one allow access secure app this is on so this is good if this is not on then you can you know then set it to on so this is fine i can just close this one and uh, i can go back to my ssis package okay so the server name is different right now so maybe i can just copy the server name from here this is sql server 2019 instance name i can paste it here and this is because this is a single backslash so that's why it is showing this error so maybe i can put a at the rate here so this looks fine now our database name is work so this is good i don't need the run id in my case so i can de delete this one and now this was the query that i earlier used so i don't need this query i can remove this where clause I want to send the IDs, non matched IDs, so I can write a SQL query myself and then I can paste it there. So I will select the ID like this select ID from email where ID not in and then select ID from email underscore staging. Okay, so these are the IDs, those does not exist in the email underscore staging table. So I can just copy this particular query from here. Right now it is showing 1000 rec records because right now email underscore staging table is empty but as soon as some data will be populated then it will only show the unmatched data okay so i can actually paste my query here so let me just delete this one and replace the existing query with the new query okay so this will return only one column only id column okay so i can copy the name of the id column from here and i can paste it here so these were the columns that's that i already used in my previous video but right now i don't want all these columns in the html email so i can just remove these columns from here okay and now from this html code as well i need to remove all the code except the id column so till here this is for id and now this is another column like package name server name database name so i can remove all these columns from here so just select this one and you can select until this one okay and then just delete this one now we got only the id column which will be visible and only the ids will be sent now in the subject i want to write salary update ssis package got completed successfully okay i can write like this so this is fine you don't need to change anything else so i think our package has been configured successfully and i can just close this one click ok now i can just execute my ssis package so that should be fine i can click on start button so this is trying to send the email and it has already updated the data for the matched record so if i 
check the data here for example right now so earlier the salary was zero for all records and now salary should be 1000 for first 600 records okay because in the staging table we got the data only for the 600 records so till here it is you know this is good and for example if i select the data from staging table right now so there should be id only for the first 600 records okay and for the remaining records the salary is zero so these id should be sent in the email that from 601 to till 1000 all these id should be sent through the email okay so let me just open my email and see okay so i got the email here that salary ssis package got completed successfully and if you check the data here so id starts from 601 602 and it should go up to 1000 records this seems good this is what actually we wanted so we can send any data through email that we want we have a couple of options either we can maybe uh, export the data to send through maybe csv file or maybe an excel file and then we can attach that file or we can just directly send the data through html code okay so this is good so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much